No. 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 Thank you. In the above interview, we can see that most of the Hong Kong people do not know what is embroidery and how to do it. So we decided to use this as our topic to find out more about the embroideries through these documentaries. The origins of embroidery are lost in time. But examples survived from ancient Egypt, Iron Age Northern Europe, and Chow Dynasty China. It has many routes all around the world and is being done in many different ways because of their cultures. Elaborately embroidered clothing, religious objects and household items have been a mark of wealth and status in many cultures including Asian Persia, India, England and Baroque Europe. Hand embroidery is a traditional art form passed from generation to generation in many cultures, including northern Vietnam, Mexico, and Eastern Europe. The Bayeux tapestry is not a true tapestry. It is an elaborately embroidered wood hanging originally displayed at the Bayeux Cathedral and now housed at a special museum in Bayeux, Normandy. Embroidery is a brilliant pearl in Chinese art. From the magnificent Chinese robe worn by emperors to the popular embroidery scenes in today's fashions, embroidery adds so much pressure to our life and our culture. The oldest embroidered product in China on record dates from the Shang Dynasty. Embroidery in this period symbolized social status. It was not until later on, as the national economic developed, that embroidery entered the lives of the common people. Now we invite Miss Sun to do some embroideries for us. We try to get the needle from the back to the front of the fabric. 
and then we pull the thread and we go down to the fabric again and we pull the thread and then we go by the right and then we go to the opposite and then pull it down so now we are trying to make about the bottom of the heart This is our finished product. Thank you, Miss. Mm. Hello. These are the equipment we need for doing embroidery. First of all, we should have the pattern. Mm. And in the pattern, there are different symbols to show the different colors of the thread. Next, we are going to prepare the fabric. There are two types of fabric. One made with the plastic, one made with linen. Sometimes we find the pattern marked on the fabric. And we need the needles. We call this type of the needles are crews. You find the eyes are large and big. And we need different types of the thread. Sometimes we use the wool for doing the embroidery. After that, we are trying to make the frame and to stand the product or we put it in the special box to make it as the key holders or the photo frame. We are trying to decorate our home or anywhere you like.